And then we're live over here at Cecilia's Closet and Food Pantry, which just started taking in donations this morning. And people really concerned about their neighbors up north responding in a big way. Donations for fire victims are beginning to pour in at Cecilia's Closet and Food Pantry in Morgan Hill, fueled by images such as this coming out of Butte County. You can't watch all this on TV and not just let your heart go out to all these people that have died and are just put out of their homes. And I mean, any way we can help and, you know, can't make it up there. But, you know, I saw Cecilia's pose through her foundation and thought, well, I could help that way. It's through word of mouth and social media that Cecilia Ponzini is seeking relief supplies for those impacted by the fires. People donating sleeping bags, tents, blankets, even pet food. A lady called and said that she ordered 30 bags of um, cat and dog food. Uh, it'll be delivered to my home through Amazon. So I have about, I don't know, 10 to 15 people that said, get ready. It's being shipped to your house through Amazon. In Gilroy, firefighters there have set up a donation center at the fire station on Sunrise Drive. They'll collect supplies all week and then drive them up to Chico next week. I appreciate the fact that people are willing to give. Um, uh, it says a lot about our community and uh, we hope that we don't have to keep going ahead and doing this every summer and every fall, but we appreciate it. Two local efforts among many out there taking in your supplies and more importantly, getting them to where they need to be. And that's because we have the trust that the Edward Boss Prado, Prado Foundation has put in the effort to make sure that the donations are going to the right place and really are going to people or animals who need them. And if you'd like to donate to any of these relief efforts, you can do, do so over here at uh, Cecilia's uh, clothing place. Uh, she's over here on 35 Peoples Avenue, the Gilroy Fire Station on Sunrise Avenue. And then beginning tomorrow, the Faded Iron Salon on South Main Street in Salinas will begin taking in your donations. And of course, if you'd like to make that, make that monetary donation, you can do so with the Red Cross or United Way. Reporting from Morgan Hill, I'm Felix Cortez, KSBW Action News 8.